All right, so you get your new cameras, 4K this, 6K that, in some cases, 8K. You go out, you shoot amazing footage, and then we're having drop frame rates, freezing computers. All of a sudden, it feels like it's impossible to edit in Final Cut Pro. Well, today we're gonna to talk about Optimize and Proxy Media to see how you could vastly speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna talk about what's the difference between the two, why you choose one over the other, and how these things can vastly speed up your Final Cut workflow. Also, today is a Thursday, which means it's a three minute Thursday. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. We tackle a subject here in under three minutes. When I set the clock, I will try to keep the time today. It doesn't always work out, but let's get into it. So what is optimized and proxy media? Well, you see a camera shoots in a native compressed format. In my case, I shoot Sony, which uses a compressor and formats of H.264, H.265, but a compressed format is really just taking bits and compressing it to which you have to open back up to play back on your computer. Now, your Apple computer can play back many different formats. However, ProRes is the preferred format for Apple computers, and it gives you the best performance. So first up on the list, you have your optimized media, which transcodes the media into Apple ProRes 422. This provides better performance during editing, better color rendering, and better render times when it is that you're using your media in Final Cut Pro. Proxy Media is a little bit different. It creates quote unquote proxy files. Essentially what that means is a scaled down version of your original clips. The transcoding is either one or two things. It's Apple Pro Res 422 proxy, or you could render in H.264. And then from there, you could make smaller files all the way from a scaled down version to 12.5% all the way up to 100% of your original file there. However, proxy files are gonna be a lot smaller and easier to handle on your computer than even optimized media or definitely your original format for your computer. So let's jump over into Final Cut Pro here real quick and show you what that looks like and how you would create optimized or proxy media. There's one of two ways that you could do it. You could either do it on import. So I hit command I, I pull up my import window. You're gonna get all these different options right here. If you look down a little bit, a little bit down on the import screen, you could see here that you could either create optimized media and check that button there, or you could create proxy media there and you see you get the codec to choose either ProRes proxy or H.264 there. And then you could create the frame size of anywhere, like I said, from 12.5, up to 25, 50, or the same source there, which is 100% there of your frame rate there. If you forgot to create optimize or proxy media on import, you can always come back to your browser window, select a clip there and transpose media. And then you could see here, it says either create optimized media here. I've already done optimized media, so that really is, that is grayed out for me, but you can create proxy media there if you already haven't done it there, so you could choose either which one there. So the three main things to consider now is time it takes to transcode, the actual file sizes and how that's going to run on your computer, and then the resolution in which it's going to play back in. For me personally, I preferred optimized media because it gives you a better resolution on when it is that you are editing in Final Cut Pro, and I prefer to see the full resolution and a better color rendition even when it is that I'm making my rough edit. However, that causes me to use external hard drives because it optimized media does create a whole bunch more files and takes up a lot more space when it is that you're editing there. If you have space concerns, even if you have a much slower computer that you don't think will be able to handle the optimized files, then you may want to look into trying proxy media there, or maybe you don't even have to choose. What you could do is use both in different situations. Here's what I mean. If your computer is still bogging down with the optimized media, you could create both optimized and proxy media there, create your rough edit, and then if you come over here in Final Cut Pro, and in your view window, you have media playback, you could do optimized or original or proxy preferred or proxy only, and that way you could switch back and forth. So in this scenario, I would use proxies to make my original rough edit. And then when it comes time for my color grading and all that stuff, I switch back over to optimize to do my color grading so I could see the res full resolution of what I have going on there. So now hopefully you have a better understanding on what optimize and proxy media is there. Definitely go ahead and use one of these two things here if your computer is struggling to edit some of your larger 4K files, depending on your camera format that you use there. Anyway, if 
If this video helped you out in any way, shape or form, please go ahead and drop it a like, hit the subscribe and the notification button as there is a ton more videos like this coming up and we're going to keep this Thursday thing running. I won't ramble on, I will catch you in the next one. Big up yourself. Peace.